Okay, this is the Andrew Fletcher, and uh, the most terrifying dream is making decisions, which I think we can all agree with. Uh, Andrew Fletcher, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So, my first poem is currently untitled, so if you have any suggestions, feel free to throw them at me. Um, literally, if you so wish, I'm sure there is paper that you can ball up and chuck in my direction. Content warning for body image and allusions to self-harm. I was destined to hate my body. This queer, disabled body, it holds altogether too many curves, treasures too many angles. These popping bones cradled beneath rolling hips, a chest too malleable, thighs too thick to cut the feminine from, fingers too nimble, ankles too loose to walk on. By all accounts, I should detest it. But it has worked too hard to keep me afloat, treading water for hours, even as I tied stones to my feet. My head has always been kept above the waves. I will always have scars, for when I thought glass could glitter so nicely in my skin, I didn't always treat this figure with fairness, tried to steal its shape, denied that it exists, but denial can only ever obfuscate the truth. My body has wildness in its joints, knees arched backwards like crescent moons, the bows of Artemis strung too loose to hunt. It clings to elbows sharp enough to take an eye out, shoulders consumed by wanderlust, never able to find their way home. My body tucks their pain close to my heart like a child it could never bear to see grow up. I know one day we will be adult though, and in the darkness pain will bear my body like comfort, a blanket cape it can never quite let go of. This body, so easily beautified, Eyelashes thick enough for mascara, voice high enough for catcalls, hips loud enough to swing. This body, so easily read as female, and yet, still I cannot bring myself to hate it. My body has been so strong for so long, been heckled and hacked at from all sides, but it was never wrong, never bad, never broken, never worthy of this disrespect. My body is exactly as it should be. I may have had the odds stacked against me, but my body, my queer, disabled body, has never been so loved. All right, this, um, this second one is an old one, but it's a lot of fun to perform, so I thought we'd give it a whirl. Um, shout out to my buddy, who I think embodies this pretty well right now. Punk ass bitch. I have a denim jacket plastered in patches, a can of beer and a pocket full of matches. Ripped skinny jeans over ripped skinny legs. If I say no, then nobody begs. My arms are a colouring book that no one dares touch. The steel on my boot tips ensures as much. My reputation follows me without a hitch. Don't go near them, they're the punk ass bitch. If I walk by the playground, the whole park is deserted. Ice cream is dropped and parents are alerted. But this time I notice something that isn't quite right. So I slouch by the swing set and behold a curious sight. A little boy seven is coming quite near, looks me in the eyes with no unjust fear. He reaches for my spiky hair with eyes like bubblegum and pats it in wonder before returning to his mum. She cannons me a glare of her hideous frown, so I straighten my back and walk away through the town. Now I make business and cross the road and old ladies twitch. Cause who am I? I'm the punk ass bitch. Thank you. 